Hi, and welcome to Dotto Tech. Our show today is the perfect blend of work and fun. This is HP's Media Smart Home Server. It is a brilliant new device that brings tools from the corporate world into our home. So no longer are we going to assume that there's this big difference between the corporate world of technology and the home market. Maybe the things that we do in the corporate world are a little bit different, but many of our needs are the same. For example, in the corporate world, there are many PCs that all need to be linked together so that they can share information. They need to be secure and they need to be reliable. Now, we have many of those tools now in the home that business users have had for years. The internet provides us all of the connectivity and we've got security solutions. But what we haven't had is the sharing and storage capacity. We haven't had home servers. This is a home server. HP's Media Smart Home Server, which runs Microsoft's Windows Home Server software. And this is important stuff. So important, in fact, that we are going to look at it in detail today. I think you're going to be hard pressed not to rush out and grab yourself one as soon as we're done. The home server is a total departure for many of us in the way we look at home technology, but it's a concept whose time has come. Think about it. Most homes now have multiple PCs. It'd be great if they could share files just like in the office, but instead of sharing spreadsheets and proposals, they could share pictures and videos and home movies and, and music. All these files also need to be protected. They need to be backed up and you should be able to access them from anywhere in your house or anywhere in the world for that matter. A home server does all of that. Plus it does so using an interface and tools that you don't need a degree in computer science to understand. You don't need to be a network administrator. You just need to understand a few simple concepts. And we're going to cover those concepts today. So let's take a look at the home server. This is really a small PC. It's no different than any other computer except it's designed to be a server. So for example, it doesn't have a video card in it because it'll never be hooked up to a monitor. We'll never access the computer itself through keyboard, mouse, and monitor hooked up as a desktop PC. Instead, we'll always access it over the network. It's a creature of the network. It lives on the network and we manage it over the network. Because it has no video card, it also needs less cooling, so it runs very quiet. But it still has a process and RAM and an operating system running. So it very much is a PC, but it is a server. It's designed to take files, store them, give us access to them, deliver them out to computers when they're wanted, and then also to capture information from other computers. Now it's all about storage though. Inside here, we have our four drive bays. Two of them come populated in this particular version. These are each 500 gigabyte SATA drive. So we have a total of one terabyte of storage and it's easy to expand. Each of these drive bays pop out without requiring any tools at all. You just pop them open and there you can add another drive. And you do that without tools, and actually you can do it hot swappable, meaning that we don't even have to power down the computer in order to add more storage. The network and the software will automatically configure to add more storage. So we have two additional drive bays here that we can add storage. We also have a USB port here that we can use to add an additional drive in the front. Plus we have three USB ports in the back, as well as another SATA port in the back so that we can add additional storage. The whole concept is we're gonna be able to grow this system as our storage needs increase. Now as far as configuration goes, it simply plugs into your Ethernet router with the Ethernet cable. Now you could use wireless, but with the amount of data that we want to transfer back and forth, a hardwired connection is going to do much better. So you power it up, you plug it into the network, you run some software to install on one of the PCs to manage the whole system from, and it's going to take about a half an hour to 45 minutes probably to configure the entire system. We're going to do that right now. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to look at how we can start using our home server. Blogs, podcasts, streaming video, you can find it all on our new website. Check out dototech.com. <laughs> 